In the area of green gas, the Dutch are ambitious. The Green Gas Roadmap, published in June 2014, illustrates that the contribution of renewable gas to our sustainable energy targets can grow from 10 petajoules at present to 77 petajoules in 2030. This covers 17% of domestic gas consumption in the Netherlands. In our country, more and more biogas is being produced through fermentation of biomass. An increasing amount of this biogas is used for the production of green gas. This happens through upgrading biogas to the quality of natural gas. Natural gas is transported under high pressure through our national gas transport system. On arriving at urban areas, the pressure is lowered and the gas is subsequently fed into the local gas network. Green gas usually doesn't travel very far. It is fed into the local network, providing gas to homes and businesses in the vicinity. Understandably so, as feeding green gas into the national gas transport system would require increasing its pressure. This would cost energy and decrease its yield. Additionally, the national gas transport system is often some distance away and extra pipelines would have to be installed. Throughout the year, the demand for gas fluctuates with the seasons. During winter it's high and in summer it's low. In contrast, green gas production is invariable all year round. So it can happen that during summer more gas is being produced than can be locally consumed. During such periods, feeding of green gas into the local gas network will be suspended and the surplus gas will have to be flared. The network operators of the Dutch natural gas networks are offering a solution to this problem, the green gas booster. It consists of one or more compressors, increasing the gas pressure and pumping it into the national gas transport system in the opposite direction. The green gas booster kicks in at times when more green gas is being produced than can be consumed locally. During most of the year, green gas is supplied to the local network supplemented with natural gas from the national gas transport system. During the summer period, when demand is low, the green gas producers are unable to unload all of their product locally. This is when the green gas booster goes to work. The green gas surplus is brought up to high pressure by the compressors and then fed into the national gas transport system, where demand is much greater all year round. This way, all the green gas produced is being utilized and nothing is wasted. Furthermore, there is now an opportunity for more green gas suppliers to feed into the local network, so an opportunity for growth. And now, this is happening in Weister. Waste processing plant Atiro is currently producing more green gas than the local network demands. The reason why here in Weister, as a pilot project in cooperation with Gas Unit Transport Services and Enexis, the first green gas booster is being built. This project will exemplify how our nationwide gas system can work. The green gas booster is a solution for the Dutch green gas capacity problem, with low energy consumption and real benefits for the community at large. And so, producers and network operators contribute to large-scale green gas production, furthering the transition to a sustainable energy system.